of Windermere, nothing remains. At least, nothing of the Windermere of my youth. Nature has taken over. The Great Hall is now a ruin, just a roost for wild birds. By night, all life leaves Windermere. There are stories of the sad ghosts that haunt the hall. Alone in the dark, perhaps Windermere herself dreams of the lost days of her glory, as I now dream of the lost days of my youth. It was a wild and frightful night when the masked man set forth with black murder in his heart. What are you talking about? The masked man. He's a character that Basil has made up. A man with a face so hideous that he masks it. Basil has been telling us stories about this masked man. His stories are good, sir. They're funny and bold. There are no masked men, Basil. And if you persist in making things up, I shall send you back to London for the summer. Oh, really, Frederick? They were just harmless make-believe. Make-believe is never harmless. Look, Basil. Windermere Hall. Windermere Hall? If you're a good boy, Ralph, and behave yourself, one day it will be yours. And if you're a good boy, Basil, and behave yourself, you will be allowed to visit. If you are a good boy, and if I behave myself. <laughs> man when he set forth with black murder in his heart. Basil, there is a little girl who's going to be living with us. Who is this little girl? She is the daughter of an old friend of your father. Little Clara's parents just died in an accident. So your father and I thought it would be best if, if we took her in. Remove yourself from my sight immediately. You will stay in your room till you're ready to apologize. I saved some of my supper for you. That was very clever. What you did with your face. Don't you think you should go down and apologize to your father? Do you think I should? Good to get it over with. But wait, your face, it's still crooked. Sorry, sir. Come here. Come on, come here. Can you tell me who that is? Great grandfather was an admiral in the Royal Navy. And who is that? That is his brother, personal physician to His Late Majesty. That? That is my grandfather, and he served in the House of Lords. Are you worthy of your ancestors, Basil? Do you think they are looking down on you with pride? Oh, your imagination. 
She's a wild horse, Basil. Rein her in tight, or she will drag you to disaster. Go on, scurry along to bed. Do you need a candle, Master Basil? Good night, Master Basil. Who are these people? On the first Monday of every month, the hall is open to the public. You too, Basil. See me in my study. The girl who took your fancy tonight is the daughter of a school teacher in Windsor. I spoke to the father. He seems a nice man. He was very grateful to be allowed into the hall. He knows his place, Ralph. I trust you know yours as well.